Thomas Tuchel's appointment as England's new manager has sparked a lot of debate with several pundits and former footballers uh, chanting one thing in unison, English managers should be English. Whether that claim is justified or not is another topic altogether. But are there really none um, good England manager? And yeah, it kind of feels like the issue runs um, deeper and simply stating they're not good enough. Um, yeah, why are there no England managers? Uh, on the level of maybe a too sure that the FA have gone out and pointed that are available. He emphasised um, the main issue is probably money. Um, costs at thirteen thousand seven hundred pounds to get a pro license in England, uh, already eliminating sharp footballing minds that cannot afford to pay that much. Um, yes, yeah, when you look at foreign countries, there's two thousand two hundred Spanish pro license coaches, just two hundred England. That just seems um, pretty telling. Um, and yet yeah, another thing is maybe. Um, a lack of training um, when we get, when players are playing. Um, seeing seeing former former uh, England superstars such as Lampard, Gerrard, and Rooney delving to our coaching, unfortunately haven't been successful at all times uh, and maybe end up being sackable. And that's probably because they didn't take proper training at St George's um, Park before uh, they did it. But they go on to earn huge contracts as they gamble on their reputations on players. Um, and that's probably why they haven't been able to succeed. The Premier League, often regarded as the holy ground of English football, hasn't seen an England manager um, win the league since Howard Wilkinson led Leeds to victory in 1992. Still, then, the league has been dominated by a host of legendary title winning coaches such as Sir Alex Ferguson, Arsene Wenger, Pep Guardiola, and Jurgen Klopp. In contrast, renowned English managers such as Tony Pulis, Sam Allardyce, Roy Hodgson, and Sean Dice, despite making a name for themselves, have remained far from the trophy scene. This doesn't mean that there won't be a few coaches uh, in the future, but that has likely taken a hit. One of the most recent top coaches was Graham Potter, who obviously got the Chelsea job, um, so that was a bit of a nightmare. And yeah, um, obviously hasn't been in work since. Um, but yeah, the FA funding needs to re address the root issues before planning for a long term future of English managers in charge. Southgate became England's manager in 2016, and while results did not come out more often than not, the FA and fans wanted trophies, which um, obviously didn't quite get. The Euro 2024 final loss to Spain was the final straw, and Southgate passed away to England shortly afterwards. Following that, there were likes of Englishman uh, Eddie Howe and Graham Potter linked to that job, but it became clear England were going international in their search. Tuchel wasn't the only foreign coach considered. Pep Guardiola was also on this. However, Tuchel's pragmatic um, results during an approach stood him in stark contrast to Guardiola's flair, making a less favourable choice for Sam. And so perhaps there wasn't an issue with having a foreign coach, but with Tuchel's specifically. Whether they influenced um, the English press harsh criticism of the German manager is unclear, but one thing, the fans and the board are currently uh, placed more trust in uh, foreign managers rather than English ones. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Don't to like, share, subscribe. Follow us on our socials. Link in the description below for daily football news, meme and content. Subscribe for our other channels on screen right now. That would be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.